Thank you. My name is Marcella Shula, and I'm the director of the Shindy Rudolph Graduate Program in Creative Writing. It's my privilege to welcome you to our third biannual international creative writing conference. This conference honors the contributions of Alan Hoffman, who's retired last year. Alan is one of the principal founding members of the program, the past acting director, a dynamic teacher, and a talented writer. And you will soon hear more about him, and you will hear from him yourselves. He's to appear last in the program, not only because he and Joseph Skybell are the main event tonight, but also because we've arranged the order of the speakers according to entertainment value. <laughs> I'm starting, and I'm going to be very, very brief. <laughs> Our conference title features the Yiddish concept, Soris, which, as you probably all know, means troubles, worries, inconveniences, problems, all of those things that writers can't live without. We frankly acknowledge that they are the greatest pleasure of any Jewish writer's life, and we are so happy that you're here tonight to share our tours with us. We hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Most of our conference participants have flown in at great personal inconvenience for your pleasure. The worst flight was Pittsburgh, and that's Joy Katz and Rob Handel. They're, it was so terrible, they didn't even make it tonight. They're still in flight. Um, from D they're, they're landing. They're fine. <laughs> but they're suffering for you, so enjoy your time. Um, from Washington, D.C., we have our Fulbright specialist, Ethelbert Miller. And from Atlanta, Joseph Skyler. I butchered their names in the last two weeks terribly, and I pronounced them correctly tonight, so note that this is the proper pronunciation of both of their names, not anything that I'll call them later. <laughs> this year has brought us many gifts, including three other conference participants, the Fulbright Poetry Scholars, Jacob Newberry and Robbie Nadler, and the visiting fiction instructor, Joan Legant, and you'll hear more about them as the conference continues, and you can also read about them in your notes if this is too boring for you, so they're in the program. Okay. We extend a special welcome to Hedda Rudolph, the mother of Shandy and the wife of Sheldon, who's here with her daughter, and Simone Singer. Where are you? <laughs> Without the generous and spiritual and financial um, support of your family, this program and this conference wouldn't be here. We're so grateful and we're so pleased to be here. We also welcome Sharon Amalotin, the chair of the English department. And generally speaking, being the department chair is basically the most overworked and underappreciated position in academia. So Sharon, if you don't become a fiction writer after this, it's really not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> On a personal note, I'd like to thank my colleagues and members of the conference committee, Evan Fallenberg, our fiction coordinator, and Linda Ziskwit, the poetry coordinator. <laughs> And working with such gifted and delightful people makes it very difficult to concentrate in a writerly fashion on my own personal problems and sorts. So, um, also, I'd like to say that you can tell a lot about a teacher by the students that he or she inspires. And Judy Lavenson has been um, a light um, to me on how wonderful a teacher Alan has been. Um, she's been our program coordinator for the past seven years. And if you'll forgive me while I lapse into cliche a minute, she did the lion's share of the conference organization. Um, so thank you. So <laughs> She's also held my hands in these last two years, um, during which time I've taken on the directorship of the program. And that's really not a cliche because she actually does literally hold my hand and say, Marcella, you now have to go to this office. <laughs> and, um, so, um, yeah. and I would now like to invite uh, Joel Walters, the Dean of Humanities, to say a few words of greeting. And we're so happy. He's been so supportive. Uh, 
I'm so mad since I'm the uh, low level entertainment. Uh, it's a double cock. Uh, Pesach Sheni. Uh, Pesach Sheni is a cock for Tzmeim and uh, Rechokim. <laughs> so I can't really talk about that. Uh, it's also uh, Shavuot Shachalbo Lagbomer. And uh, I. Little dialogue with Alan. Alan's the humorist, remember. I'm the low entertainment guy. <laughs> uh, I don't understand why the Rashbi, Rabbi Shimon, uh, uh, gets a whole day for himself. It's a Hilula. It's actually uh, 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 just unbelievable to me. We have this other guy, Rabbi Ishmael, gets nothing. Uh, he says that uh, uh, the motto should be the Asafta the uh, We should have their Eretz. And so you have this one guy. He's uh, in favor of bitachon. Learn Torah. Don't worry about parnasah. Don't worry about anything. Uh, God will provide. His eyes burn out uh, people when he comes out of the cave. And he gets a Yom Hilula, and, and Rabbi Ishmael gets. Uh, Adaf Gamora and a few other uh, other things, but I'm not going to talk about that because <laughs> I want to pay a special tribute to Alan on a serious note. And I looked around for a story because Alan always has a good story. So, so I heard one this morning, luckily in in the Beit Midrash, about uh, uh, the Gra, the uh, Vilna Gaon. He didn't have a uh, etrog one year. And along comes a uh, 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 guy, a mocher, has an etrog, and so the gra asks him, uh, "No, how much is it going to cost me?" And the guy didn't even think for a second. He said, "It will cost you uh, the reward that you'll get for doing the mitzvah. I want what, when you do the mitzvah. I want the reward." And the gra didn't have to think a second. He said, "You got it." Uh, and then he's smiling, and all of his Hasidim, I don't think you should call them Hasidim, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe Talmidim, they, they go up to him and they say, you know, he gave away the, the merit for doing this mitzvah. So uh, he explained to them, he said, uh, now that I don't have the merit for doing the mitzvah, I'm going to be able to do this mitzvah lishma, only uh, uh, for its own sake. And that's Alan Hoffman. He didn't work here for the money. He didn't work here for. Uh, uh, he didn't work. He didn't work here for the kavod, for the honor. He worked here because he loved it. He did it nishma. And I hope you have a great conference. And uh, uh, I hope to be here a little bit too to enjoy.